This is Giselle from Creation Giselle. In this video, we will look at how to create a full sheet of postage stamps using a series of photos from my computer using a script in PaintShop Pro. The script is called Stamps 3 and I simply start the script. Now it will prompt me to open one photo from the folder where all the photos I want to use are located. So I will open one photo, it does not matter which photo I use, and then reactivate the blank image that was created by the script. Running the script again, it will continue. Now I will be prompted to enter a few options. It calculated that I have 44 photos to use, and I don't really have to use them all. I will choose a number of rows, and in this case I'll choose four and the number of columns I'll choose three. It reminds me that it's going to be only using 12 photos out of the 44 available. Now I can pick the size I want for those individual photos. I'll make them a standard 800 by 600 pixels in size. And now I have the option for the script to pick the photos in order or randomly. Since there is no particular order to the photos in the folder, random choice is good enough. And now the script will pick randomly the photos from the folder and put them on the sheet based on the information I chose. And now I can pick the color for the paper. I can use a traditional white paper or I could pick a color from the photo. It's really up to me. I'll just choose white and the script will create all the little holes for each individual stamp. Now I can add text also on the stamps. So I need to add the text on the very first postage stamp and I'll put here the word soccer. and I accept. Once I'm ready, I'll simply run the script again to continue. It added the same word in the same location for all the stamps. But I still have the option to tweak each of those words since everything is left on separate layers. So I will say yes to the tweaking. And using my move tool, I can move the word in a different location if it's hard to see. Or I can also choose to move or to change the color so I can increase the brightness to turn it white if it's too hard to see in black. And I will repeat the same thing with this one. So adjust brightness contrast and increase it to white. And that should do it. If I wanted, I could also rotate some of the words based on either my own preference or based on a photo where it shows. When I'm done, I run the script again to continue. And I have the option to add more text if I wanted to add another name, a number, a date up to me. I could use the same font, a different font, different colors. So many options are possible. But in this case, I'll say no and I'll be done. So this is one way to create a full sheet of stamps using different photos. There's also more options to use this script. So let's run it again. I'll run the script. Again, I'm prompted to open one photo or one image from my folder. And in my folder, I had fewer pictures than the space available on that sheet. So let's run the script again, continue. And this time I will wanna have three rows and three columns. It told me it has only three spots, but it's gonna be reused. 
I'll put them 600 wide, 800 high. And this time I want the photos placed in order. And now I can choose the color of the paper. Again, I'm just going to use something plain like the white. And I won't add any word on this one. And I'm done. And as you can see, by using the photos in order, when you have fewer photos, you can have a very interesting display of those photos. So now it's time for you to create your own sheet of postage stamps with your own photos using this script and PaintShop Pro. Enjoy!